Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Danielle. Today's pick a card reading is centered around what is up with your mindset right now, what is up with your motivation levels. I have found that sometimes we can just get stuck in a rut and we try so hard to do things and get out of it and for some reason we just can't. So this card reading is for those of you feeling like that. I did leave it for you to choose either from the top card if it catches your eye or the crystal or stone with a word on it. So the breakdown of today's pick a card reading is what are you struggling with right now? And that's what the top cards are going to be answering the question for. And then the second thing we're gonna be looking at is what is the lesson for you right now? Why is this happening? Why are you going through this, this challenging time, this changing time? What, needs, what is needing to be changed so that you can move through this phase and start the next one? And then we're going to be looking at advice from the angels for how to get you back to feeling good or feeling on track and fulfilled. To finish this all up, we are gonna be doing a card pull from a self-care deck to see what you can do right now to help you get unstuck. We're also gonna pick a card from the secret of color deck just to see if there's a color you can surround yourself with, eat, wear, Think of energetically visualize yourself in to also help you transition through this time. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the card decks now. So pile one has this card here. The opener of the way. Or this stone that says vulnerable on it. Might be a bit tricky to see, it is clear, so there we go. It says vulnerable on it. Pile two is this wholeness card. Has a number 21 on it. Or you have this we have this cute stone that says live in the meow. And then pile three, you have regeneration. It has a number 13 on it. Or you have this Kimbaba Jasper stone and it says smile. Okay, so you can go ahead to the pile selection in the description box and choose your pile if there wasn't one that already stood out to you. If you don't know how to pick a card, I'm gonna give you an explanation right now. First, we like to start with grounding ourselves. We can do that through breathing in air from down above our head, down through the nose, all the way to our centers, and then we release it gently out our mouth. So you don't wanna be forcing the breath back out, you're just letting it come back out through your mouth. We do that about four times, you can do it a few more, just to make sure that you have a good airflow going and that you're not forcing it and actually more out of breath. And if that way doesn't work, you can put your feet flat on the ground and visualize the balls of your feet growing roots that go down into the earth all the way through the floor, all the way through the rocks underneath the foundation, all the way to the center of earth. And you just feel that it's really connected to the mother earth energy. And that should also help you feel physically grounded or rooted in your body. And once you've done either one of those or another way that you use to ground yourself, you're gonna ask yourself the question. You can say something along the lines of what pile has a message for me or what am I struggling with right now? What's going on for me mentally and emotionally right now? Is there a pile here that has a message for me? 
a question along those lines and then you just look at each pile and see if there's one that stands out to you. It could be a color that catches your eye, the words, a number, the visuals on it. You just kind of go with whichever one feels right to you or catches your attention. Another way you can do it is by going to the description box and seeing if a number attached to a timestamp is drawing you to it and you can click on that one. And then if there isn't one that's catching your eye or you're feeling drawn to, it just might not be a message in this pick a card reading for you. So don't worry, there's so many out there. You can just go into another one and I'm sure you'll find a pick a card reading for you, especially if you're feeling grounded now, you'll be able to find one real quick. Okay, so you now have the tools to pick your pile. So I'm gonna let you ground yourselves now and then I'll see you in your card readings. Pile one, you picked the vulnerable stone that is red and the opener of the way top card. Okay, so let's just get right into it for you. So the first question we are looking at is what is going on for you right now, physically, mentally, emotionally? What, why are you struggling with how you're feeling? So we have yeah the opener of the way and we also have this other one sacred purpose and then it says <laughs> pardon my pronunciations uh, i think it's fat nut jeb and anubis okay pile one this is really interesting because how I see these two cards is they're almost like night and day. Night and day. <laughs> and in this one here, I keep seeing that you currently could be just stuck in this strange place where everywhere you look, there's almost like chaos. There's nothing really great to look forward to. You're almost seeing like this lack of opportunity, this lack of abundance, just a lot of chaos, a lot of, I almost want to say literal darkness. Like you look around and you don't see what is prosperous. You, you see a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of taking energy specifically that I feel like you think that there's a lot of deceit out there a lot of people just trying to survive I'm sorry I'm not trying to say that in a sense of doom and gloom but I just see that you just really been feeling like you can't see things the way you used to see them or you're really stuck or focused in on all the chaos around you so there is a couple of messages coming through. So I almost feel like you might have picked up a bad vibe, essentially. Um, like you might have been surrounded by a lot of negativity or in a space that had a lot of negativity. And I literally feel like a lot of that might have literally have attached to you energetically. And for some of you, maybe not all of you, what you're needing is an energy clearing or healing to help let go of any of those lower energies that you might have picked up. Um, and then the other thing going on here is some of you might have had an incident happen and that really shifted your mood. Like it was maybe someone hit your car or someone stole something from you. It was almost like a random act of just, uh, we would perceive it as meanness, just coming from that selfish, scarcity mindset 
And when that happened, it completely changed how you saw things and you're having a really hard time getting back to how you used to see things. I just keep seeing this snake as you, usually when I see them, they don't have a weird energy to them. They're usually meaning a transition is coming, a change is coming, but I can't stop looking at it because I feel like um, it's representing such a deceit that you've been so deceived, you've been mistreated, almost like I keep thinking of Adam and Eve and how the snake deceived Eve into eating the fruit and then making their life so hard. Hi, Steve. Oh, he really liked this card reading today. But the thing that I really wanting to mention is that I see Anubis here and he's just straight ahead. It's like telling me, he's telling me essentially that he's coming to you with an open heart to help you get out of this situation. Like I even see that he has like the key and he's offering it to you that he's right there if you can stop looking sideways, if you can stop looking behind you at what happened in the past and you just look ahead and just your next step, he's standing right there, right in the light and he's wanting to bring you a better, more prosperous cycle, a new transition. And I really do keep seeing that. Like I'm like, there's even a dove here and it's bringing in peaceful times. So this is good. When I see this coming out, I think this believe I believe that you're going to essentially see this opportunity coming towards you, that you're going to see that there is an answer and a and a solution for you. And essentially how I see this is once you can open your heart up to that, once you can see that there's more out there, it's it leads to a perception change. Like, I feel like this is almost feels like the exact same situation. Like say, this is how you're seeing life. It's dark out. There's weeds on the ground. There's a snake eating food. Things are not as abundant as they could be. And then all of a sudden you just have this mind sh mindset shift, this perspective change. And all of a sudden it's, it's light outside. There's people relaxing, enjoying life. There's water flowing that's clean and fresh. There's plenty of fruit for everyone. There's people sharing their their abundance and wealth. And it's I just really feel like that's what's needing to happen for you is that you had a great mindset, something happened, and then it shifted to this lower energy. And if you were in the exact same situation, but you saw things with a different story to them, then it wouldn't feel so dark. Hmm. I keep getting the message too. It's like, it's important to count your stars. <laughs> it's important to actually see how many things are going right, how many things are good. And I know that can be really annoying to hear when you're not feeling super excited about things, but there's something that that's going to help click and help your mindset shift again. Yeah, I think, you know what it could even be? I feel like you need to start verbalizing a new story for yourself out loud. And it might feel silly, but what I keep seeing is that you need to put it out into the physical reality. So say right now you keep thinking or saying there's so much evilness out there. There's so much scarcity out there. There's so many people who are just run you over and take what they need from you. And that's like a story you've been saying or something along those lines around there just isn't a lot of great things. You need to just focus on what is fulfilling for you. What do you love? What do you love about your friends? Do they, do they make you laugh? Do your friends cheer you up when you're down? Do they support you when you, when you need them? Do you just like feeling a certain way? Yeah, the message is definitely that how your way out of this is seeing a different story to things. If you've caught yourself 
perhaps making judgments on others around you or assumptions around why someone's doing something. It's just saying to maybe take a second to step back from that and see that the story might not be true, that whatever the original perception was might not be the right perception. And then it's just going to shift everything. Like I just keep saying, like, if you change the story, you will have what you're wanting. You're going to have this beautiful abundance, this beautiful place and so many supporting things, so much life here, so much joy here, so much beauty here. And it's still the exact same situation and place that you are here. You just realized <laughs> you saw the love and light in it versus just seeing the scarcity and the fear in it. It's truly changing someone, changing a story. And how Anubis offers this clarity to you is by essentially letting you see a bigger picture, letting you see the whole situation around you. It's really cool as a reader to see this because it's just like I can really see the power in changing the emotion, like changing the story. I feel like I need to give an example for this. I feel like I might be losing some of you. So how I see this is say, say someone budged you in a line. They go in front, they cut in front of you and they pay for their thing. And then you, your thought is they're very selfish, they're very greedy, but Say you talk to that person later and you find out that they were, say that they were rushing to go get that item because their son was in the hospital and in a lot of pain and you find out that their son really just wanted some goldfish crackers. That's all he wanted to feel better and that's all that parent knew they could do to make their child feel better. So without even thinking about those around them, they cut you off and other people in a grocery line to go buy those goldfish crackers to bring them to the sun. If we are just the bystander, we think, wow, what a rude person for not waiting in line. But then we understand the emotional stress and the tunnel vision that person had. And we realize that although maybe that isn't the nicest thing to do, if we had a child that was in pain, was in the hospital, and wasn't feeling good and said, all I need right now is goldfish crackers. That's the only job the parent can do to make a change in that child's life and wants to feel a little bit of control. And then all of a sudden we don't feel so bad for them wanting to cut in front of us and buy the goldfish crackers. <laughs> I guess same could be said around so many situations where we don't know the story, but we give it one. And then it turns out that the story was so different. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that you have guides. It could be Anubis themselves, or it could be your own guides are coming in and they're trying to help you be more open-hearted, be more open to the love energy and knowing that the universe is here to work with you. This card is saying that you hold the key to your future. You hold the key to what you want to experience. And they're really trying to invite you in and say, you can have this prosperous time. There's things here that are good, that are for the better, that can bring you love and abundance. And I really feel like some of you just caught this weird lower energy. It's in your frequency, it's in your area, and it's almost left you astray. I literally see that you have no idea that it's there, that you're very unaware of it. You think this is just a phase for you, but I just keep seeing it's it's deceived you. It's hiding in, I feel like your auric, auric field. <laughs> so I really do think for a lot of you, once you get like an energy clearing or you get this removed from you, you're gonna see Anubis standing there so clearly. And then all these stories are gonna change. Everything that you've been seeing and hearing is gonna just shift. Like you're still gonna be in the exact same situation, but all of a sudden you can see it in the light again. Everything's abundant. Your world is amazing. There's so much potential, so much opportunity for you and so much fulfillment out there for you. And if I really got to emphasize, like it really goes from night to day. Like there's so much, you really see how much the universe wants to bring in for you, how much it loves you, how much 
It wants you to feel the way you want to feel and experience the things you want to experience. So for some of you, I really have to say, I don't usually make such strong recommendations, but the fastest way to get out of this <laughs> mindset, out of this rut, is to get an energy clearing. Reiki, um, any kind of, I even think acupuncture for some of you could work just as well. You just really need like some kind of <laughs> higher vibrational energy channeled to you and the cords cut, lower energies cut and released. Because I don't, I don't see it in your actual energy body. This is coming from your auric field. It's just on the outside of your energetic body. And yeah, I just keep getting that you have no idea it's there. This emotion is familiar to you, so you think it might be yours. But yes, it is not yours. <laughs> it is not yours. And it's really going to change how you're doing, how you're feeling to get it out of the area for you. Okay, I want to... I kind of want to see what is the lesson. The lesson that I would say that you're here to learn right now, just from looking at these two cards, is remembering that you hold the keys to what you want to experience. You can create what you want to create. Your mindset, your emotions, what you want to experience, the universe will bring to you. So knowing and intentionally saying what you want to bring in is so important here. And I feel like for this pile, you might need to take some time to, and I might say you might have a hard time doing this now, so maybe best to get that energy clearing first. Um, but then from there to reflect and write down what makes you feel fulfilled, not just like what makes you happy. What is the desire you want? What makes you fulfilled? What have you always wanted to bring to people? What have you always wanted to experience? What has made you the happiest? Is it when you're sharing something with someone? Is it when you're helping others? Is it when you're helping empowering others? Is it when you can gift people and help them out of financial hardships? What is it that fulfills you? Is it just having a, a good time? Is it having relationships that fulfill you? Whatever it is, write it down. Know what fulfills you and why you're here. What gets you excited? What makes you feel like you want to get up in the morning and start your day and get the feet on the ground? Know what that is and voice it out loud. That's what's so important. You need to physically voice it into your reality because I think what you've been saying lately has contradicted what you actually want. So you need to essentially take that back and start putting out there verbally <laughs> what you're wanting. And then how I see it is you're going to get all these opportunities coming your way and it's just going to be up to you to choose which path. Will you go this way? Will you go that way? Will you go this way? They're all the right ways. You can't choose the wrong way. So don't worry about is this the right opportunity or not. They're all great opportunities. They're all going to lead you to the form of abundance or fulfillment that you're wanting. You just have to take the opportunity. You can't just um, stay there, stay the same, and then wonder why you're not getting it. You have to create change to get new, new situations, new experiences, right? That makes sense. You can't just not do anything and get a different result. You have to take a different step. But like I said, you can take any, any different step. There's a lot of opportunities out there. So you can't go wrong. I really need to stress that. You can't go wrong. Don't worry about it. They're all great opportunities. They all lead to fulfillment for you. You just have to make sure you've put out there what is the thing you want to experience, what will bring you that fulfillment. So I have a few cards for advice from the angels for you to get back to feeling good. I have six cards for this. So the first one I have is third eye chakra it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms such as angels auras and visions so this is really good i think that this weird energy that's been holding you back or making you pick up a lower vibration has probably blocked off the third eye a little bit has caused a bit of a block in the third eye, which means you're not seeing the situation 
clearly as it is. And that really just reinforces what I was saying with you're not seeing things how you used to see them. You're not seeing the opportunities there. And I think it is coming from just having that just lower energy in your area. It would be harder to see loving energy if you are being influenced by a lower energy. So it says it's safe to feel the energy of love, knowing it's safe to be open-hearted, it's safe to accept love, it's safe to allow the universe to bring in what you're wanting. And this is also telling me that some of you might have been having a hard time connecting with um, your spiritual guides, angels, uh, maybe if you do card readings, you might not have been doing that lately. Maybe if you know Reiki, you've stopped feeling drawn to it. I believe all this is coming from that lower energy. It is crazy how things can affect us. Don't underestimate how if you're used to feeling really high energy, you're a very high energy being. A lower energy doesn't have to even be that low to really make us feel weird. We're so used to feeling high that it's it's the low energy would feel very low. Even though it could be, it could even be a neutral energy and it would still probably make you feel lower because you're usually quite a bit higher of frequency. So I am going to say this, this like, I think is third eye to make sure if you're getting an energy healing or um, clearing to get them to focus on the third eye chakra to double check that everything's good there. I don't know for sure, but I would say some of you, it could be underactive or maybe closed. We always like to word things as balancing things, even if they are closed, because we don't want something to fully open and it'd be overwhelming. So yeah, I'm going to put that note there. If you see a physical person for this energy clearing, consider getting them to check the third eye. And I'm going to say the heart chakra and making sure maybe that those two are connected to each other. Sometimes our chakras like to become little separate systems and not communicate to each other. So I would get them to double check that, that all the chakras are working in alignment with each other and connect with each other. Shield yourself. This is a great card. I'm glad this one came out. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So for any of you who's wondering, how do I make sure I don't pick up a lower energy again, or it's just any energy that you're not wanting to, shielding yourself will do that. You essentially would, I think for this pile, you should visualize yourself in a circle of gold light. Sometimes it can be white light. It can only be any color you want. But I think for you, you this pile, you're being told to use purple or gold. Yeah, purple or gold. And <laughs> what that's going to do is it just allows loving energies to come through but it doesn't allow any sort of lower energy neutral energy to stick on you hang around you if it goes by you it just has to go around you and that's what you're wanting especially if this pile if you work in hospitals if you work in restaurants if you frequent public places really where there's lots of people it's very easy for you to accidentally pick up a lower energy because there's just a lot of things going on there. Other people have a lot of things going on for them. And especially for hospitals, um, you know, a lot of people there are sick. A lot of people, I find anywhere where people drink or sleep and release is where you're most likely to pick up under energies that aren't yours. So shielding yourself, even do it now. I know you might be like, well, if I have this like lower energy, shield yourself still because you don't need to pick up extra ones, right? You don't need to, it just honestly helps you feel so much better. You're going to just be affected only by your own energy. So that's really good. Especially if you also work with other people who say have like if you're in some kind of therapy, if you're in some kind of helping people who are struggling with emotions or mental illness, those people often will have a lot of attachments near them. So you just want to shield yourself so that you're not being influenced by the attachments attached to them. It doesn't mean that they'll attach to you, but while you're around them, you might just feel weird or just like not like yourself. And it's just a good thing to shield yourself so that you don't pick up on that energy for your and experience it or confuse it to be your own energy. And then power animal. 
They are very protective, so I'm glad this came out. Your animal spirit guide is guardian to you and is helping you with the situation. So this is telling me that your power animal, it's essentially like your guardian angel, but in the shamanic world is what they use them for. And they protect you from energies that you don't like. They are basically just one of the most trustworthy guides you can have. So just a reminder to work with them and that they're trying to protect you, but they do always need your permission to do so. You might even be able to ask your power animal to clear and remove any lower energies in your aura, in your energy field, in your home, in your auric body, any of that stuff, because your power animal knows you perfectly and knows when something doesn't belong to you and I actually think this would be good I feel like there's been a block for you in communicating with your power animal or they've been feeling like you haven't been communicating with them like I said I think a lot of this is being influenced by that energy doesn't mean it's always like that so this is just a reminder to reach out to them and let them know that you give them permission to work with you, to help you to do any clearing that they see is in your highest good in love and light. Yeah, so you definitely got two protective cards, making sure your energy shielding. That's the big message here for this pile. If you're really not feeling like yourself, it's because you need to start energy shielding. And this might even be like one of those ways you're really gonna learn to start doing it for yourself more consistently. Okay, we have a couple more cards here. Well, we'll say these are another three cards for advice on what you can do right now. So we have for the first one here, your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. I really like that this is gold too. It makes me really think that yes, it is gold that you should be shielding with or once again, gold with purple with it. Something around that. Gold feels really good for this pile. This one says, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. So knowing that the angels are protecting you, they are on your on your side they are like even though it might feel like nothing is working out or there's nothing that exciting happening these cards both are saying that although it might feel like nothing's changing that things aren't great there is a lot going on in your best interest in the background the angels have been with you it's really this mindset shift this needing to see things clearly seeing things from another perspective is a message that kept that keeps popping up again and again that you're that you're just not quite seeing the whole picture you're not seeing what's actually happening there's this lower energy that's influenced it that's caused you to not see things in the light and in the love and see how things really are working out best for you and like i'm really gonna say again this is not your fault there's just like a weird vibe you've caught <laughs> And then this one here says, take action, you're in touch with your truth and this situation, and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. So this is, even though things are feeling uncomfortable, you're feeling unmotivated, you know what's best for you, trust what you know you should be doing. If you're saying like, oh, I know I should probably start working out or I know that I shouldn't be drinking coffee I know that I should go to this class follow that even though you might not feel the most desired or inspired to do it go and do it it's the healing that you're needing it's your body's needing you to remind it that it's okay to put yourself out there it's okay to take opportunities that this is all in your highest good this is all for your own personal betterment. I keep seeing that you're having to put yourself out there and you're gonna be well, ta <laughs> well taken care of. Yeah, you're being guided. I think you're being guided by a lot of like really, really powerful spiritual 
I want to say ancestors for some reason or guides like uh, you're you're being guided by the highest force right now so it's just really wanting you and inviting you to push through that discomfort and follow it and it will get you there to change and doing that should help you eventually see things differently because it's like just having to trust that you know what's best for you and you're doing what's best for you. And even though you're not seeing it right away, you are gonna get there. I'm trying to think what to do here. I'm gonna clear some of these. We'll see if I do a clearing, if maybe we can try and get rid of this thing, but I still feel like if you have the ability to see a, an energy healer to do so, only because I feel like for some of you, it's going to be a very specific thing. And sometimes in a general card reading, it's hard to clear for everyone this thing. So I'm going to try my best. I just don't want to make any promises and guarantees that I still think that if you have the option to go get this cleared by someone in person. Because if there's like a contract or anything like that or some sneaky way they've hung on to you, then you'll have a practitioner there in person to tell you all the specific details on how you need to get rid of this or clear it. I feel like you'll be able to get it cleared just by going to the practitioner, but like I said, they just might have to do some very specific things for you, but I, I will try at the end of this to see if I can just get rid of that for you, for some of you who just don't have the money for it or who unfortunately might just watch this card reading and then forget about it. <laughs> I'm going to try my best for those ones to get rid of it for you all. Okay, we are going to pull cards here. Yeah, we're actually going to leave that out. We're going to pull cards here for what you can do for your own self-care right now. Okay, pile one. What is something that pile one can do for their own self-care right now? So we have inspiration and it says to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Heed your inner calling. What is it that makes you different from others and what unique expression do you most desire in this life? So something for you to reflect on. What is it that makes you different from others? Write that down, whatever it is. Is it your quirkiness? Is it your love of the color pink? Is it, is it your love of just life? Is it your excitement over new ideas, new experiences? What makes you different from others? Is it your perspective? Is it your confidence in yourself? Is it your self-love? Now, I want you to think, what unique expression do you most desire in this life? What do you wish you could do to feel fulfilled in this life? What do you wish you could do to express what you are, who you are, that makes you different in this life? And then write that down. Okay, we're going to pull another one. What is another card for pile one for their self-care? You have another, you have a reflection. Your past does not define who you are today. Close your eyes and take 10 deep breaths. With each inhale, breathe in calm and peace. With each breath, let go of what came before. You are here now. Your path is in front of you. 
So breathe more, breathe more. <laughs> breathe in peace and calm and release anything that does not serve you anymore. And now we also wanna pull a color. Okay, what is a color to support pile one right now? What is a color for to support pile one right now? You have brown and lemon. Brown, establish boundaries and lemon excess in innovative thinking. And it has the number 23 on it. I don't know if you saw that. And then another interesting thing is this Anubis card is also number 23. So if you haven't had 23 pop up in your life, I think it would be really important for you to maybe look up the angelic meaning of number 23. It could be important for this pile because there is two 23s here. So why would you want to use the color brown I think this is gonna be pretty good for this pile from just what I've seen, is it's gonna help you be more grounded and more connected to that source love energy. And it's gonna, it's really talking about nurturing yourself and rejuvenating your energy. And with, like I said, some of the stuff that I've seen with not energy shielding, you might be feeling pretty drained. I feel like a lot of things might have been borrowing or taking some of your energy that will now set up some boundaries for and make sure that that won't keep happening and how this is going to affect your mood and your motivation is going to be incredible super incredible even with this with saying establishing boundaries uh what i find so crazy about this is in the guidebook for this it always talks about um like drawing a circle and dirt and then standing in it and realizing that you deserve self-love and not leaving the circle until you've reiterated or reaffirmed your boundaries with others in the world. And I'm like, what is a circle? A circle is just like an energy shield. That's what it is. It's just a circle <laughs> around you. So there's definitely two cards here saying you really need to be energy shielding so that you are protecting your energy and not just protecting it, but essentially keeping your, your energy higher to yourself. Like, I don't want you, I feel like I don't want you to feel like it's selfish, but I feel like you're, you're just almost letting everyone come and take it and you don't have enough left for yourself. And that would also not help with letting you be able to see the goodness in the world and see all the abundant opportunities because you just have all these energies coming and taking some of yours. And that could even be why I was seeing over here that some of you might feel like there's a lot of takers out there. But what I'm seeing is that you're just needing to put the boundary because if you haven't put a boundary around you or set boundaries with others unfortunately they're not understanding that you feel like you're giving too much or drained they're just thinking oh they don't mind i'll just take some of that thanks thank you for sharing so i'm not trying to say you've done anything bad but it's coming up from your guides because you might feel bad to set boundaries you might feel bad to energy shield but it's saying if you want to feel different the reality is is you have to start doing this and you might not like that answer you might make you angry it might make you want to stop watching this card reading but it's saying this is the answer that they're giving to you this is the solution to how you don't feel drained anymore or feel not motivated not like yourself is setting the boundary and basically giving yourself time now to nurture yourself, to rejuvenate your energy and essentially replenish your own pool. It might take a little bit. You're gonna have to energy shield, I think for, I think it, for this card reading could be anywhere from a week to three weeks to a month, everyday energy shield before you really start to feel that energy battery replenished and Unfortunately, the longer you go without energy shielding, the more you're just gonna feel like you have been because I just see that the, by the time you can recharge a little bit, you go and see people and it's all taken from you again. So it's just really calling for you to create and set new boundaries for yourself out of love, not out of anything else. There's nothing wrong with it. You're not a bad person for it. You're not selfish for it. You're just setting 
boundaries out of your own self-love and self-care. And then the yellow is really great because this card is going to help bring in inspiration and fueling, fueling you making decisions that are coming from an empowered, inspired place. So what would that look like if right now you're having a hard time feeling excited about things or seeing where things could go? Wearing like a beautiful lemon yellow or even putting lemons in your water is going to work on helping you feel that excitement again. I also see it like changing the worry and the anxiety to a, to the positive light, to clearing out that anxiety and the worry and the fear and, and just the racing thoughts and shifting it into the healthier, assured self. That's what I keep getting. Instead of, I feel like a lot of this is gonna help with self-love and, and confidence, like self-assuredness, trusting yourself, believing in yourself, not being so hard on yourself, knowing that you are on the right path, doing the right thing. And I also think it's gonna help you if you've been feeling really stuck in a situation, it's going to help you be more resourceful, see the opportunities, seeing that other perspective that you might not have been seeing before. So say you feel like there's just been two options in a situation. It's this or nothing. It's that or, or that. And I don't like other options, so I just take this one. The lemon card is going to come in and it's saying it's going to help you realize that there wasn't just two options. There's this whole pool of options for you. And I think you're really needing this for whatever situation you're in right now is you're needing that clarity, that full vision, that full sight to really get what you're wanting. Yeah, I really like that one for you. So like I said, if you can eat yellow, put yellow on for clothing, this is a really great color for you right now. And when you wear it, use it with the intention of seeing, being an innovative, think, innovative thinker, being able to see the whole situation because everything we do with intention makes it that much stronger. Okay, I'm just thinking here. Let's do a clearing now. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Our intention here is we're going to clear whatever that is out of your aura, anything else that might be lingering there. We really just want you to be just you here, just your highest self, just your energy. We want all that stuff gone. Okay. So let's get into it. We're going to say our prayer for clearing. Actually, I think I might just even, yeah. Okay. So I'm just thinking on the spot here. <laughs> I want to make sure that I get rid of this for you all because I almost get like a little bit protective when I see stuff like this in people's auras. I just really don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it because I really get that you don't know that it's there. That, I mean, like I know you've been feeling gross and all that, but I get that you don't know that it's been caused by this other thing that you all picked up. And it's because it's really good at making it think it's just your emotions and not it influencing them. So we are just gonna, get rid of that. So we are going to use our healing and clearing collective prayer that I always use. And we're going to get rid of this for you guys because yeah, like I said, I really don't like seeing stuff like that hiding there. <laughs> okay. So ground yourselves, please. We're just going to retake our four deep breaths. I'm going to do it right now with you. Breathing in air from down above our heads through our centers and out through our mouths. I call upon and invoke to step forward the highest form of source energy, which is love. 
to step into this clearing and any guardian angels, the archangels, and any other guides, all in the energy of love and light for the highest good of all involved, to please step forward now and assist in this collective clearing. I ask the collective from pile one is surrounded in peaceful, loving energy during this clearing that I remain a neutral, unbiased channel for the highest form of love. I ask that your spiritual teams for pile one applies this clearing for them now or whenever they hear this, that this be done by the highest vibrational divine energy. I ask that the guides working with you now are aligned, upgraded, and able to support you through this clearing and afterwards on your new path. I ask that the guides that are by your side now are of the highest vibration, wisdom, and love to best bring in this clearing for you today. I ask that these guides channel as the wisdom, the understanding of the universal truth, the knowledge and the remembrance of love and light into the energetic and physical bodies. I ask that any, any programs, negative energies, limiting beliefs, ancestral limiting or negative programs be acknowledged, released and removed from both the energetic body and the auric field and the physical. Please replace this with the downloaded knowledge of love and light, truth of the universe and understanding and wisdom. I ask that any attachments or energetic cords be cleared, healed and released now. That any vows or contracts around this energetic attachment to be healed, forgiven, and released now. I ask that any programming, ancestral, peer, or current lifetime around scarcity thinking, around not being safe in your body, around pain, danger, being unsafe be released and removed now i ask that any lower energies that have come from this attachment from this negative energy in your auric field to please be released now and instead replaced with the highest form of downloaded truth and understanding your moments of love and light of universal law of cause and effect and may that be done now and so it is I ask that any fears around being fully embodied, being fully rooted in your body, I ask that any fears around it being safe for you to be, to be removed now and instead replaced with the highest form of source love energy. I ask that it goes all the way down from the top of your head into your feet, all the way through the earth chakra, through your grounding chakra. I ask that you be placed in a pillar of light and that the highest form of divine love be channeled through you. I ask that all your cords are shown to us now. And I ask that we say these words on your behalf and may they go through all the cords attached to you. I love you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Please forgive me. God bless. And I ask now that all those cords be cut by Archangel Mary. As Archangel Metatron to please step forward and patch up any holes in your auric field to remove anything that might be lingering there that we might have missed. And I ask it this lower energy be put into a bubble of white light and escorted out of your auric field by Archangel Michael and any other guides that wish to help clear this energy from you, escort it out of your auric field, your energy field, and bring it to the place where it can be dealt with. I ask that that part in your auric field is also patched up and replaced with the highest form of source love energy. 
Okay, I want to just finish this off. I want to just see if we're going to ask Archangel Metatron and Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel, to please clear the ear chakras of the collective of Pile 1. Remove any old energies, old words, old beliefs that might still be hanging on in the ear chakras i ask you please release those now i also would like to ask archangel metatron to please connect the third eye with the heart chakra and the throat chakra please make sure that all these chakras are communicating to each other and that they are working together harmoniously as they like to to remember remind them how to work together in harmony Okay, so pile one, what I keep seeing is whatever this thing was that you had in your auric field, I get the impression that it was almost like, and I just want to say this so that you really know if you are going back to this situation that you are for sure energy shielding, please energy shield. I didn't get that you picked it up from a person. It got that you picked it up from a building or an environment. And how I see it is wherever you were, that's why I keep thinking it could be a hospital or hospice or anywhere where there's like a lot of mental illness or physical illness that causes maybe some, like people are just in pain. There's just like a lot of that was released in this area that you were in. A lot of like environmental, like we would call it like energy smog, you know, like like when you sleep, you do release work and it releases it into your environment. So you would like sage that environment to clear it energetically. Wherever you were, that obviously wasn't happening, but there was just a lot of like, I'd say smog in quotations, <laughs> smog. And it was almost like you were into that environment and because you weren't energy shielded, you just walked into it. I almost think you walked into like this goo and then this goo is so thick that it almost got its own consciousness. And this isn't to freak you out. It happens all the time. But like I need to reiterate, your energy is very high. You're a very high energy being. If you even get a lower energy attached to you, it is going to affect your emotions and your state very easily because you're very high energy. So even a neutral energy comes and gets stuck in your auric field, then you're gonna feel not like yourself. You're gonna feel lower vibration because you are just that much higher. So <laughs> I just, the, there's the only thing that keeps getting reiterated is no, you're not supposed to be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. Anything you pick up can always be removed. But the point is, is that they just, your guides don't want to see you having to go through this whole phase again. And they're like, just energy shield. <laughs> if you energy shield, you won't be picking this stuff up. You won't be in these places. So this is the answer. You want an ultimate guarantee, energy shield yourself. <laughs> and you'll be completely fine. Ask your power animal to help shield you. Ask Archangel Michael to help shield you. Whatever you need, just make sure you're energy shielding. And I really see that as they're like they're saying that's all you need to make sure you don't pick up on this lower energy stuff in the I think it's a place you're working or just spending a lot of time and that's why they're saying it's really important to make sure that you're doing this because it's very much affecting you I'm very much emotionally and mentally <laughs> so I'm sorry if this is feeling very repetitive but they keep telling me say it again <laughs> in case you're not hearing the words I'm saying I'm saying it again so yeah, like I'm going to reiterate, yes, if you don't shield yourself, anything that attaches to you will always be able to be removed. Nothing is permanent. Things aren't meant to be in your aura or your energy body. They are going to be removed. But to save you having to go through the emotional, um, I want to say like roller coaster or like downfall, it's just best to be preventative, essentially. Shield your energy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the very interesting thing too is I feel like this was affecting your guys' uh, right foot for whatever reason. I can't remember what that means, but sometimes I like to look up Chinese medicine meaning of, of certain feet. But whatever it was, it was affecting something in your root chakra. So it was affecting something in your feeling safe 
if that's why you can hear me. I kept trying to reword things because I kept feeling like it was a bit stuck for some. So there was something in not feeling safe to be in your body, not feeling secure, not feeling confident in yourself. And honestly, all this makes sense because um, this energy just doesn't match with your energy. And I think it just would have created a lot of wacky things. Your spirit wouldn't really want to be in a body that felt lower when it's used to feeling higher. So all that stuff about not being grounded, having racing thoughts, extra anxiety, it all makes sense because when you're not grounded, all those things happen. <laughs> Okay, I am gonna leave this here. I really wanna reiterate that there's nothing to be afraid of. I feel like if any of you have that, don't, don't be afraid of anything. I'm just gonna reiterate one more time. Anything, if anything does ever attach to you, it can always be removed. Nothing is permanent. So don't be worried <laughs> about something attaching again. Don't feel like it's the end all be all. It's just honestly part of what's out there so they've given you the tool to make sure that it doesn't happen but say something slips in because you forget don't worry just go see a practitioner and they'll clear it for you it's why we're here <laughs> okay i'm gonna stop talking now you guys have a good one i hope this helps with with your mindset and how you've been feeling Okay, pile two, you chose the live in the meow. Super cute. So we're gonna take a look at what's going on for you right now, physically, mentally, emotionally. Why are you struggling to feel like yourself? Why are you struggling to feel motivated? So the top card was one of the cards for that. Wholeness, creation of sacred purpose, divine parents. And we have another card for that. And it's Cycles of Change, Planetary Guardian, Spiral Dancer. Actually, I really like this card. This is really pretty. I'm seeing from these two cards here, there's a couple different things going on and this would make sense why you're not quite feeling super great or fully yourself. One is saying that you are transitioning into another cycle of life into a higher consciousness and what that would look like is how i'm seeing it is situations that once you got a lot of joy out of say perhaps you used to love gossiping and catching up with some friends or something around that it doesn't have to be gossiping but kind of just like hearing the the most recent news or kind of hearing people say what's happening in their lives but it was more from a place of scarcity thinking or more negative focused and now you're not feeling good in those places and why that is happening is because you are shifting out of that you are growing and you are changing the energy that you vibrate at quite literally so if these energies down here are the people you used to talk to, hang out to, could be family members, friends, co-workers. You used to be on the same energy level. You used to be happy spending time with them. Say they like going out drinking a lot. That might be a common one. Love drinking, love partying, love blackout drunk. And now you don't feel great about that. Something about it isn't fulfilling. It isn't bringing joy. You just, you're not liking it. It feels gross for you. It's because you are literally vibrating too high that you're being dropped down by these things and it's not making you feel great because now you have the awareness that that isn't what you want to experience anymore and I just see on an energy level it's just so much lower than where you are now. So you probably have been struggling if you chose this pile with like I said, coworkers, friends, family, people you previously would have had good relationships with. And it's just because you are moving up, essentially. You're leveling up. <laughs> and it doesn't make those people 
any less valuable or anything they're just now on a different storyline than you are so how i'd see it is that some of these situations are toxic some of them feel too depressive and they some of them truly are like it's not in your head they're just not very healthy any and you now have the awareness and the consciousness that it isn't and it's going to be very hard to be in those situations so what you're being called to do is because i feel like for some of you if it's family and you're living with them and you maybe don't have the finances to move out or if it's co-workers and you don't want to change jobs because of the co-worker, whatever the situation is, is calling on your guides to shield you from that energy and to centrally block it out. I, I get a few different things. You all have different guides in this pile. For some of you, it's going to be shamanic, some are angelic, and some actually are... Um, uh, what do you call it? ascended masters that's what they are um that will do this for you but all in all whatever guides you're working with would love to do this for you and to make sure you're calling on them to make sure you're not picking up any of that energy yourself and will help being in those situations a little bit easier and then another message i keep getting is although this could be challenging to do some gratitude and you know how manifesting speak as if it's already happened to do that and be consistent with it saying like I'm so happy and grateful for my supportive friends I'm so happy and grateful for my supportive whatever it is whatever it is to make sure that you're manifesting in what you do want with the feeling that you do want and focusing on that because what I'm seeing is your guides are saying it's very easy to get caught up in this lower energy and how you don't like it but you almost need to separate the two and be like thank you for protecting me from picking up these energies and I'm so excited and happy for what's coming my way what I am experiencing for the gratitude for the enlightenment for the amazing experiences that I am having and like I said it it doesn't have to mean that you love the situation you're in but don't don't spend so much time focusing on it I know that's really hard to do sometimes but they're saying that part of this other lesson that's coming in is that you can create your reality you can literally dream in what you want to experience so also having to tell the universe what that experience is and have yourself know what it is and what I'm seeing here is when you first hear this, it might be really hard to even find anything that seems great or going good for you. But they're saying to please take time to go a little bit deeper because you're going to, the more you focus on this, the more you're going to realize that there's a lot of things that are starting to come in that are really great, that are more fulfilling than you previously had. So... It could be that maybe you have a new thing that gets you excited. It could be that maybe you have a couple of new friends that are more supportive than you've ever had before or who understand you more than anyone has ever understood you. It could be so many things that your body might be have healthier than it's ever been. Yeah, something around that. So it's just really asking you to shift towards that. Another thing I want to really bring up is while you're seeing this, so they're saying you'll see like these other people that you used to get along with that are in a very different energy as you to reflect on how you transformed and how transformation can happen. Whatever it was that shifted within you, because to see what that is is going to help you transform to even another level. It doesn't mean you have to do it right now, but it's just showing you that this is that is the key. That's how anyone gets to the next level, to how anyone gets in higher consciousness, is by transforming the story they put on things or transforming how they saw the world or what they thought was possible. And that it's really going to help you manifest in and create more of what you're wanting. I, I, yeah, I feel really good. I feel like you are on a journey of becoming an extremely powerful manifester. Like you understand the power of the masculine and feminine energy. And that's quite key here is understanding that the feminine helps you create all the ideas to visualize it all. And the masculine energy comes in and helps you actually bring it into the physical reality. And that 
both energies are needed and need to be balanced to have that come into the physical and to essentially bring in the experiences that you want. And I think you're kind of on a journey right now where you're learning that. Okay, I think we're gonna move on from those. So the lesson, I didn't fully say that, the lesson would be teaching you how to be a creator of your own story, a creator of what you want. But a big part of this specific lesson right now is understanding the power of both the masculine and feminine energy and how they both are so important in manifestation or in just bringing anything in and having it actually fully come in, if that makes sense. That's like the small lesson that you've been learning right now. So, ooh, so for cards that we have on advice from the angels for getting you back to feeling good or feeling like yourself, we have integrity. And it says, align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what you're, of what's right for you. So I actually really like this when I see learning the balance of masculine and feminine and creating what you want and bring what you want in because this is just saying to realize that if you're thinking it if you're saying it all you still have to do a physical the physical piece you can't just do one thing think one thing visualize it all but not actually do anything to get it into your physical reality so this is really great. How I'm actually getting this is making sure you're taking those opportunities that come forward. So if you've been trying to visualize or manifest in, say, more charitable people, it's probably not what you're doing, but say if you want more charitable people in your life because you feel like you're just giving a lot, if you have someone offer you a free lunch or a free thing and you're saying no, that would be how you're not accepting it in the physical reality. That's how you're not taking the physical action. So if there's a situation like that, it's just saying to make sure you are being aware of that. And then the next card we have for you is Goddess. Express your divine feminine energy, embracing, the, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. So I love that a feminine energy specific card just came through for you after talking about the balance between the, the masculine and the feminine. Okay, sorry, my I just, just changed my camera battery. So I was just saying for this card, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. So something that i want to really just reiterate here how it said that you had just learned and you've just ascended to a higher level and you transformed you've essentially finished a cycle and what i like about this card here it's it's saying that you're ready you're ready to bring in what you've learned and your growth you've had over this last little bit and take some action steps. So how you might have perhaps been feeling a bit stuck before is you had all these new ideas and they felt like just dreams off in the distance. And what I'm seeing now is the angel's advice to you is to start taking action steps towards making them in the physical reality. And what I think is happening here is I think some of you might be feeling called to changing um, an education or a class or something like that, changing directions. So perhaps before you were certain or feeling pretty certain about a direction you wanted to go in for career or schooling and then I think things have just changed. So if some of you have been looking into astrology of some sort then I would say this is a good confirmation to pursue looking into that. Um, it doesn't have to be astrology that's a specific message for someone but I was just thinking, I keep seeing all these stars everywhere, stars here, stars there. So I would really say that some of you should look into astrology or maybe even just look into your own astro 
astrological charts. Maybe there's more information for you to gain. Maybe you're gonna understand your soul purpose more through it. And I would say going in and doing like a deeper dive, not just looking at your sun signs, but looking at your moon signs um, and all that other stuff, the actual whole charts. You can do a lot of that pre-online, but if you're wanting, if you've been thinking about getting someone to do like the deeper look for you and explain it to you, this would be a confirmation that, that wouldn't be such a bad idea. And also if this is around career, um, I would recommend working with a female guide, whether it's an archangel that's a female or has more feminine energy or an, and, an, or an ascended master that's a female. Mother Mary could also be one. Working with the specific feminine divine energy to help bring this in for you is gonna really help because it's wanting you to reconnect with your passion. And I can see that you've had dreams about this. So they might just be a bit in the distance and you've forgotten about them or you're daydreaming about these things often, but the because you've been stuck in this kind of lower motivation, lower mindset. It's saying that you use the female guides to help bring this passion into your life, to start taking these next steps and really just being inspired, being back on track, feeling great and more like yourself. You know, astrology has something really important to do with it. Okay, we have another card here and it says books. Your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritual based books. So that's really interesting because this one was just talking about helping you find your purpose, your soul purpose, understanding it. And it could be either astrology is your soul purpose, doing that for others, learning more about it, or it could just be that you're trying to get some help finding what your soul purpose, what fulfills you is from astrology. And I like that this says um, that your life purpose could be reading, editing, or selling spiritual based books. So that could be, uh, I really get as another confirmation if you've been thinking about astrology, that you should really go for it, that it's really gonna become part of your long-term life path, life purpose. But for some of you, it could just be going down and pursuing a more spiritual way and that it is in the end going to lead to you doing a lot more than just what you think you could like it said it could be involved reading them writing them editing them selling them something to do with some with spiritual books so it could just even be like chakra systems it could be about astrology it could be about acupuncture it could be about moonology there's so many possibilities you might just own your own crystal shop and sell crystal books there and sell spiritual books there. So that's just a confirmation for somebody there. And it also could mean that if you're struggling to get out of a mindset and you're not connecting because you aren't finding these people who are on the same um, path as you, essentially, they're like we were saying at the start, you might just be, you I shouldn't say might be, I believe that you have shifted a, to a higher consciousness than the people that you've previously been with. It doesn't mean that some won't follow, but right now you're looking for other people to inspire you and guide you. So finding books of other people who have done the things that you wanna do would be a great place to start, um, whatever that looks like for you. If you're like, well, I don't know what my sole purpose is, well, maybe just try reading books about people who are financially free or people who turn from the Western med medicine field to the Eastern medicine field or this one turned spiritual, or maybe you want to watch something about financial freedom, <laughs> whatever it is, try to find books on what has you interested and excited. It will help you feel like you have people around you that have the same mindset as you. And then honestly, I find that once we start looking into things, the people around us start to shift and grow. So that could even help. Okay, we're gonna look at three more cards here. Three more messages from the angels, but from a different deck. And this one here says, you have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. Very cute card. Has a cute little orange cat in it. Three times actually.
And then we have, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. That's from Angel Zana. And Archangel Raphael says, I'm helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Okay, I'm really glad that card came out. When I saw this here, I was like, oh, I wonder if you're gonna do some kind of um, animal communication or Reiki on animals. You might even have your own pets and it could go as far as that, that maybe you do animal communication with them or Reiki on them. But what I see here is just a lot of love, <laughs> lots of love and a lot of healing specifically for animals. And then I like that it came through with um, you are a healer like me card. So there's another confirmation for you all. If you're not sure about what you're doing, whatever path you're being led down, you are bringing more love and light into this world. And I believe you are healing I think you maybe didn't realize that you were doing it for your pets, <laughs> but I'm sure you're going to do it for many others. So this is definitely a great affirmation to be getting. You are on the right path. I also wonder if some of you are going to be vets, but you're going to be very alternative. That would be really cool. Animal communicator vet. I don't know if I've heard of that yet, but I think it's an amazing thing. One could even write a book about it. <laughs> and then this Xana card, you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. Ask you to relax and feel safe is really saying that this tough time that you've gone through, whatever has your mindset, not feeling so good, that they're, the angels are really coming through and saying like, look, we, we've got you, we're protecting you. Trust and let us come into your life and keep you safe and trust that everything is going to be much easier now. That's actually great to see in a reading where we're not feeling like ourselves. So it's saying that the worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Really do like that. And I really like the picture of the home behind this angel. It feels so calm and welcoming. And for some reason, I feel like for some of you, you might have been looking for um, like a prairie home or something like that, a home that had, what am I trying to say? Like a more classic home, like the old homes you used to see on TV shows and now everything's so modern that it doesn't even feel homey. I feel like you wanted a really homey feeling home, like a country home is how I see that. So that feels really good. And I think some of you, maybe there was a struggle with housing specifically for you. And that could have been part of this stress and the, the fretting here is maybe you were having a hard time finding a rental or buying a house, or there could have just been some issues with your house with a roof or something or plumbing. And it's all saying it's all good now. The angels are here in your prayers and they're coming in and helping you out. Yeah, I just, this is, I hope you're getting this. This is a really great card and there's so much heart energy here, which tells me that there is some healing here that needs to happen, but but how I'm seeing this is it's, coming up because they really are trying to bring a lot of love and support your way. So I would just say if you find yourself, yeah, shutting down opportunities or feeling bad about taking opportunities, this card reading is coming forward to say, breathe a few times, feel grounded and safe in your body and know this is how the angels in the universe are trying to bring help to you. So if you're you're definitely supposed to trust your intuition. That's coming through and to know that, yes, there are still those like scams out there and like the likely spam calls, but to trust that intuition and know that oh, there are a lot of opportunities that are trying to shift in to balance out this weird energy that, um, that you've been in. I, I feel like you would call it bad karma or something that you'd experienced, but how I see it is it was just like a weird thing that happened and they're really trying to correct it now with this more loving, these greater opportunities and they're just really needing you to say yes. 
yeah, I don't know what you guys have been through, but it seems like you were in a really interesting, uh, just like weird, I don't know if it was chaos or just like a very weird situation went down and it really seemed like it came out of nowhere. And from what I can see, it does actually seem like it came out of nowhere. And the angels were like, trust us that we're taking care of you and that we're helping you out. And that that was just a weird thing and it's done now. We're back on track here. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I wonder what that was. Okay. Anyways, we're going to move on here to what color? Let's do the color one. Yeah. I want to get a color for you guys to work with or to wear during this time to help transition through this energy. So we're just going to say what can pile to... <sighs> Or even asked, it got yellow. Purify your body, and it's number twenty-two. So there's another confirmation, just for myself as a reader and for you, that you guys are healers. You are here to be doing some work, and I think you're gonna start to realize that you're often gonna be the higher, the more higher conscience person in the circles you run, and. I think it's just because you're also here to help influence others and raise their vibration. Okay, we also are going to do two for you. So you also have Burgundy, Awaken Your Passion. That's also a great one for this pile as I kind of saw that there is a lot of passion in the dreams, but there's not a lot of passion coming through into your physical reality right now. And I really have to say right now because I'm seeing that this is the main thing that the angels want to work with so that you can feel more motivated in a better mindset is getting that passion into the physical reality and getting you excited about what's coming your way and what's happening. So with the yellow, this is going to essentially help detoxify your body, detoxify your thoughts. And I believe that's why it's going to, it's coming up. It's going to help get rid of those thoughts of having to carry the weight of the world, to be responsible for everyone, that worry energy. It's really going to help clear that. So if you feel called to working with Archangel Shamuel, I think that would be a great one to work with. Sunshine, yellow energy. I always associate with Shamuel. I know some people would say pink, but I think of sunlight when I think of Shamuel, like loving, gentle energy. So I would consider that if you feel open to it. It's the angel that keeps popping into my head. And then if you can go outside, I don't know what the weather is like during this time of year or whenever you're watching this, but when you're in the sun, if you can picture the sun and bright yellow energy literally circling around your body and removing any toxins, any old energies, anything that no longer is serving you. And it's very specifically your digestive tract that you're gonna be picturing this being removed from because um, yellow is our solar plexus, right? And our solar plexus controls our stomachs and just the most our digestive tract. I don't actually know if it is the one that controls our guts or not, but when I see this, I think of, um, yeah, just needing to consciously think that I release, be in the sunshine, picture the yellow energy around you and just say, I release any toxins, any waste, any thoughts that no longer serve me out of my body. Just something along those lines. And I, I mean, I feel like this is going to be very game changing for you because I think with this pile, I get that when you do something with intention, that's it. That's what shifts things. When you are fully in alignment and fully intentional with your choices of words and actions, I think things change real, real quick for this. So whether that's when you're doing it for a passionate thing, something you're really in love and light for, or if you're using it for fear and scarcity, I think it also can manifest really quick. So the point being here is that if you actually focus so much on clearing things with the intent, intention of letting go any of the old waste, the old toxicity in your system, old emotions that are no longer serving you, I think that's going to go away pretty quick. And that's going to be really good for motivation and mindset because that's going to essentially help get rid of the worry and the fear. 
we like that. And then the burgundy is just amazing to come in with this because this bit essentially clears out the old so there's room for the new. Burgundy is going to bring in the passion energy, the excitement energy, and when we're so passionate and so excited about where we're headed, we just know where we're gonna go. I don't know if you've had that, like when you have so much passion, you're not thinking what's gonna be the result, what's gonna happen, you just have the passion, you have that knowing, you have that connection to what excites you, what the outcome is that you're going for, and it doesn't matter if you fail the first time or two, you're gonna keep on going because it's so clear to you that this is what you have to be doing. So that's why we like the burgundy color, Awaken Your Passion. Uh, yeah, so I think for this one, I know this might seem strange to some of you, but if you can wear burgundy colored underwear, I think that's the best way for you. Um, I think, yeah, I think you want it on you all the time. I feel like it's more something you should wear because you're gonna have that reminder of your wanting to bring in and connectedness to passion. But, <laughs> I mean, if you could eat red, like a burgundy red, that would be okay too. Like maybe plums. I know they're kind of purple, but I'm feeling like burgundy and plums is like, there's something about the plum that would be very good for you as well. Yeah, I feel really good about these two cards being recommended. It feels, I already feel very excited for you. I can see how the angels have a lot planned for you and they really, really are supporting of you. I don't know if you've been feeling that, probably haven't been feeling super supported by them if you've been having a hard time. But I mean, if there's been any doubt about them not being on your side or not being around, this right here is saying that is so not true. They've still been there. They just might've been harder to see because of your mindset and where, where you've been focused is very on the opposite end of the higher energy of angels. So it can become harder to see them or hear them if we're focused and kind of stuck in a more negative red. So not that you, not at all that you're at fault for that. It's just part of being human that sometimes that happens, but it just, they're really coming through to say, don't you worry, we've, we're still here. We've never left your side and we're so excited to get you out of this. That is a huge message. They're so excited to shift you out yeah, oh, I feel excited for you guys. It's gonna get so much better. Okay, we are gonna pull from the self-care deck. This is something for you to reflect on or do for yourself. Whatever comes up, there's different types of cards and it could even be an affirmation, but let's pull one for you. Just get you some words and not just some colors to work with. So what can Pile 2 do for their self-care right now? What can Pile 2 do for their self-care right now? Okay. We've got two. One's 33. Lots of double numbers here. And actually 10. Sorry, I just noticed that there's two 10s here. So I would encourage you, if you're wanting a little more affirmations, to go and look up the spiritual meaning of the number 10 and see if that means anything to you. Me as the reader, I keep thinking a bit of numerology, how I would maybe condense that down to one, and that means that you're starting a new cycle and a new path, a totally new you and a new journey. So what that means is you've already come out of an old cycle, you've transitioned, you've changed a lot, which I have seen that come up a few times in your other cards, but it's really just reiterating that you are now onto the next new circle of your life it's gonna to be totally different. And I see that it's gonna be great things. I see it's like the start of your healing journey and how you become a healer. So I think that's super cool to see. Okay, um, we're gonna look at this. So inspiration it is, and it says, the quote on it says, knowing how to be solitary is central to the art of loving. When we can be alone, we can be with others without using them as a means of escape. That's by Bell Hooks. And the reflection or inspiration on this card is to take a solitary walk through a local park or on a trail. Embrace the solitude and appreciate the time with your thoughts. Hmm. So I really like that. It's about getting to know yourself, being more connection with yourself. And I really feel this is a self-love card. If you've been feeling like you have been not feeling a lot of that lately. Yeah. 
and it's also suggesting so it's also suggesting for this card that it would be useful to you to pay attention to where your thoughts go and when you're by yourself do you find yourself getting to a cycle of thoughts like are you getting trapped into an old pattern where you're thinking maybe you're being not so nice to yourself or maybe you're thinking about things that stress you out and it's really just calling you to be aware of that essentially try to over mm, let me reword that essentially once you notice that you might be saying something like oh say if it's towards self-doubt or thinking scarcity mindset or something around i feel like not good enough then just say cancel clear delete and the point behind that is you just say you're course correcting that thought you're like i'm canceling canceling cancel what i just said i'm clearing out the programming I've taken with that or the programming that I was about to set in and then we're gonna delete that whole file from from who we are and it could come up again but it's just saying cancel clear delete because you don't want any of that kind of energy manifesting into your life because it's just one of those old patterns that no longer serve you and it just takes a little bit of practice but if we catch ourselves then we we can change it And another message that comes through a lot for this card when it gets pulled is about a need to maybe turn off our phones more, to distance ourselves a bit from technology. And it would come up because it might mean that we might feel a lot of anxiety around it or might be too worried about what other people might think. And like I said, only ever take what resonates, but it's just a message that's coming through because they might have noticed a lot of your energy can get caught up in i want to say social media specifically okay and then for this other card here we have have patience with all things but first of all with yourself that was the quote and then the reflection here is write down ways in which you can be more patient with yourself keep this list handy to reference when needed yeah, so I think these two do go very good together in the sense that if you catch yourself and what thoughts come up, this could also be why it would be good to say go for a walk, turn off your phone, I know that can be scary, or put on airplane mode and then just see what thoughts you find yourself thinking when you're just by yourself, not worried about what other people are going to think of you, not, you know, not interacting with people who who you might fear the judgments of. And then when those thoughts come up, pay attention to them and then see how maybe you're being too hard with yourself. So this one suggests actually writing it down because sometimes when we write it down and we read it maybe even like five minutes later or 10 minutes later or the next day, we can see that we were maybe being a little harsh with ourselves. And then seeing how you can maybe in the future treat yourself a bit nicer and i know these are one of those things when you feel like that don't you usually when we're not being kind to ourselves it's really hard to like take the time to to do stuff like this but it's so important because how i see this is this is going to help with you saying yes to other things and allowing in more opportunities because as i said there's a little bit of a block around receiving essentially the gifts from others other people's love other people's kindness and i think it stems from what you might be saying about yourself to yourself and i really gotta reiterate like so many people are like this we like beat ourselves up but the best thing to do as a healer or someone who wants to learn to be a healer is master that within ourselves because almost all your clients are going to have the same struggle and they're going to need to know how to face it too so if you don't even feel comfortable doing it for yourself the healer within you should do it for them for at least to be a better healer because it's really hard to hold space for people if we think it's normal and okay to beat ourselves up in our own heads so that's partially why that message comes up if you're feeling a little bit annoyed with it. 
I actually know at this, when I was much younger, I used to hate it when people would say self-love. I hated it. And I just like thought it was so ridiculous to go around saying you got to have self-love. I don't even, I can't even explain why I got so incredibly angry about it. And then I realized it's because I had no self-love at all. And if someone said self-love, it just made me so angry because it was something that I would have to face otherwise that I just didn't have any of that for myself. And now those words don't bother me and I can't even understand how that could enrage me so much. But we're humans are funny like that. So I always feel a little bit bad when I have to tell people to be a little more gentle with their thoughts and stuff because I knew I used to hate hearing stuff like that. But if I'm being honest with myself, every time I got the most angry it was because there was some truth in what was being said and I didn't like the truth being said. It meant I had to face it. So just something to think about. Okay, we are gonna, I think at the end of this reading. Yeah, we're gonna do, what are we gonna do for this pile? You know what, just so that we get it, get her done, why don't we actually for this pile, we are gonna do a general clearing of your chakras. You really wanna make sure you get that heart chakra a little bit cleared, but a lot of that honestly is gonna be part, it's part of your lesson. I could clear the heart, but it's so important that you clear the thoughts and learn how to put more love in the thoughts. So I can clear the heart, but I'm pretty sure until the thoughts change, it will go back to this. But what I do feel really good, like we could help a lot with today is we're gonna actually channel in this yellow energy throughout all your cells of your body. And we're gonna do that with the intention of removing out, I do get old worry, old anxiety, old fears, old limiting beliefs. And then at the end, we're gonna channel in beautiful burgundy energy of passion and love and inspiration and safety. Yeah, I feel good about that, okay. so. We're just gonna say our healing and clearing prayer for the collective because I just like to make sure that all the guides that we want are with us. And then we're gonna get right into it. So as always, it's totally up to you to say yes or no to these clearings and healings. They are just an extra for you. So if you do want one, just affirm in some way out loud or in your head that you would like to receive this. Okay. So first of all, we are going to ground ourselves. Actually, you know what? This could be more fun. <laughs> We're gonna just see. This is maybe more fun for me than you as the watcher, but we're gonna take my pendulum and we're just gonna check your energy now before the clearing. And then we're gonna check it after. Clear release. Okay. So I'm just gonna use this stone as your metaphor, okay, please show me the energy of pile two right now. Please show me the energy of pile two right now. Okay, honestly, energy isn't too bad. Could be better, but it's, I mean, it's still a positive flow, which means actually most of your chakra energy is going in the right direction and everything. So that's actually really great to see. So we're just gonna put this here and then let's do this. And then we're gonna hope in theory, if everything proves out to be correct, we're gonna hope that it gets even bigger. Okay, so sorry, back to step one. We are gonna ground ourselves now. So we do that by breathing in the air above our heads, all the way down our noses, out our mouths. Okay, I call upon and invoke to step forward the highest form of source energy, which is love. To step into this clearing and any guardian angels, the archangels, and any other guides, all in the energy of love and light for the highest good of all involved, to please step forward now and assist in this collective clearing. I ask that the collective is surrounded in peaceful, loving energy during this clearing and that I remain a neutral, unbiased channel for the highest good. On behalf of the Cageless Reading viewers of Pile 2 today, 
I ask that your spiritual team of Pile 2 applies this clearing for you now or whenever you hear this, that this be done by the highest vibrational divine energy. I ask that the guides working with Pile 2 now are aligned, upgraded, and able to support them through this clearing and afterwards on their new path. I ask that the guides that are by their side now are of the highest vibration, wisdom, and love to best bring in this clearing for them today. I ask that these guides channel in the wisdom and understanding of the universal truth, the knowledge and the remembrance of love and light into their energetic and physical bodies. I ask that the guides that are of the highest vibrational energy by pile two side to now please channel in the yellow energy down from the top of their heads all the way down to their feet. And I ask that you do this with the warmth of the sunshine yellow ray. That as it goes down through their heads, down their throats, down to their stomachs, and down to their digestive organs, all the way down to the root chakra, that I ask that any old programs negative energies, any limiting beliefs, whether they were ancestral or from current lifetime, any negative programs be acknowledged, released, and removed from both their energetic body and their physical bodies. I ask that any fears and anxieties and worries for the collective, for themselves, for their well-being, for their independence, all please be removed now and instead replaced with this beautiful sunshine yellow ray of light. I ask that any time they step into the sun that they feel this remembrance and that this sunshine yellow ray comes if they need it to and clears out their stomach and their digestive system of any old worries, anxieties, and fears that are no longer serving them. And we're placed instead with this sunshine yellow ray. And so it is. I now ask that the color burgundy be placed as a pillar of light down from their heads, from their crowns all the way down to their roots. And with this energy, as it goes down from the crown chakra, down around every part of their body, that it awakens their passion. It reminds them of safety it reminds them of their sole purpose and reminds them of their inspiration. I ask that this energy, this color, go into every part of their body, every molecule of their body, and remind it of its love for life, its safety. And its passion. Yes, let this be done now, and so it is. I ask that any program being ancestral, peer, or current lifetime around being safe to receive, safe to be loved, 
to please be released and removed now. I ask that any time Pile 2 sees this color of burgundy, whether it's in the color that they could be eating or could be wearing or just seeing, that they remember this, this energy of absolute passion, of safety, of inspiration, and of certainty and knowing of their soul purpose. Let this energy surround them and encase their entire bodies. I ask that this be done now, and so it is. Okay, I want to thank the angels and the guides working with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're just going to check the energy and see if it's a bit better. So. Okay, so please show me the energy of Pile 2 after this clearing and healing. Okay, so it does seem better. It's a little bit bigger now. I don't know if you can quite tell on a camera. It is definitely bigger and it's a little bit faster. So I do like seeing that. I'm actually so glad to see that it was moving in the right direction at the start because as much as I hate to say it, a lot of times um, when you go to check someone's energy before clearing, it will just, I don't know if I can get it to do it, but it will just do a little like, uh, sh I guess I don't know if I'm showing this. It will just do like that one of those little shaky things like this. And then that's usually a pretty bad sign. So it goes to show that you do have a lot of good energy going through you. There is a lot of good energy. I think it's just sometimes that those fears you need to remember just to release them and call in the the well, right now we're calling it burgundy, but calling in that safety energy, that passion energy to remind your body and yourself of where you're headed and that you know where you're going and it's only going to get better and better and it's all it's all good so yeah once again another clearing i mean all clearings and healings i truly believe anyone can do for themselves but this one for sure i actually recommend that you do that with the yellow and the burgundy and i almost just wanted to do this so that you could all see how easy it is and it doesn't take too long and just visualizing that yellow coming down that sunshine warmth on you and releasing just actually say i release any old fears any worries any old programs any limiting beliefs from my digestive tract from my body um, both emotionally and physically something around those words but just really saying you're releasing those old emotions old thoughts because that's really what we're trying to get rid of and then calling in the passion and the safety energy of burgundy so if you take anything from this reading, I would really love it if you took those two things. But like I said, everything is 100% up for you to take or leave. But um, yeah, that was definitely advice to help you on your way. So I hope it does. Okay, well, you all have a good week, a good day. Uh, good luck on your journeys, your healing journeys. I'm, I'm always so curious to see what everyone is up to who sees these pick a card readings if you're card readers astrologers or veterinarians i'm not sure <laughs> it just is always so amazing to see the different energies that come through all right well you have yourself a good one and i'll catch you around chosen the smile stone I'm gonna add it to the pile here and the two 
cards you have for what's happening with your motivation, what's happening with your mindset right now, why are you struggling, is this regeneration card, number 13, transmutation and beauty. And then there's also this second card, higher love and wisdom. And what is really interesting about these two cards, if uh, regeneration doesn't already say it, and higher love and wisdom, essentially, I think why it could be a hard time to be feeling motivated or excited. I think that you have been going through a time, and I'm not sure if all of you are gonna be feeling this way, like say, I wouldn't be surprised if some people in this pile had recently gotten fired or recently gotten broken up with, or maybe both. Maybe there's been just a lot of things ending in your, in your lives. And what I'm getting from this is that there's two ways to look at it. And I'm not sure which way each person is looking at it in this pile. I think there's a, a toss up, but how I see it is that some of you, you could, you could just be upset and see only the negative, only that you lost a relationship, you're getting divorced, you got kicked out of your house, you lost your job, you could see it all in that light. But when this card comes up, it's, it's very interesting because although those things are all hard, they're saying all those things aren't right for you anymore and that's why they had to end. And it didn't matter if you ended them or someone else did, they were no longer in alignment with you. And they're, they've ended because you needed them to get out of your life so that you could be the new version of you fully. So that you could essentially ascend higher. So that you could find a job that is more in alignment with you, that gets you excited, that you help more people with in a relationship that it's more alignment with you, that makes you happier, that that person has the same missions and goals and morals as you. And it's one of those really hard things to say because it doesn't say that there isn't pain there, there isn't grief there to be processed. There isn't something, to, there isn't a need to cry and give space for that, but there's a, a mindset shift that comes with this, that it essentially says, yes, all those things are true and they are hard, but because these things were holding you back, this is only what's best for you, is that this happens so that you can transform and become available and ready for these experiences that are actually aligned with you now because these other ones were, were holding you back essentially is the message that I get from this card. And then when I see this higher love and wisdom, this is telling me that this, even the way this is happening is important because the shadow self of you that comes through, you facing that is gonna be a big part of what allows you to step into this higher consciousness, this higher level of understanding, because our shadow selves is usually what we fear most. Those things we don't like about ourselves, the things we can't control, the fears around it, and when we are faced with them, and that it has happened, then all of a sudden they don't have nearly as much power over us as we did. And we can only learn so much from what we've hidden in our shadow, what we've neglected to look at. There's so much wisdom for us to learn there. And that's why I, I can see this being very bittersweet time for you all in pile three, because I can see it being hard in a lot of ways, but also one of the most transformational times of your life, where although this could be hard, the payoff is immense. The payoff is super great. The higher love and wisdom coming in. I just keep seeing your divinely aligned people, your divinely aligned jobs. Everything that is more aligned with your soul purpose is coming your way. And for some of you, I think you're like, I didn't mind what I had. It was comfortable. It was something I knew and it felt good. And this card essentially says that, yes, it felt so good and comfortable because it was too easy. <laughs> it was too easy for you. It was not challenging you. It wasn't it was, you are outgrowing it. Is it kind of what I keep getting 
for those of you who feel like it was um, a true loss. But what I see is that it's just your soul has so much more planned for it, so much more on the agenda that it's important to face the shadow, to realize to, they really, the way they're saying it is for those of you who might not see this as actually a great time for you to grow and get an opportunity to find something better, to try to see that that is what they have planned for your soul. And I know that's so hard to say if you just lost a job that you really liked or that I should say paid well and felt good and felt safe, but it, I guess spirit has a funny way of saying Ah, we can do better. We know there's better out there for you. Your soul has so much more to do. So that is what I'm getting from those cards. I, I honestly think for a lot of you, it could have been a loss of a partnership, whether it was business or romantic or like a divorce related, because I see specifically a healthier person coming in. So I don't know if that's business partner or romantic partner, but that is definitely a very big message for you all. Okay, we're just gonna go right to asking for advice from the angels for you to get back to you, getting back to feeling good, getting back to feeling motivated. And the first card we have is this release card. And it says, work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. Hmm. I like this though. I actually think this is going to help you change your sight of things, change how you're going to see things is um, by doing this. So once again, I feel like for some of you where I totally understand why this is, this could be a really hard thing to see the positive in the the guides the angels they're really saying that it's what's going to change everything is releasing what no longer serves you how you used to see things um yeah it's definitely around definitely around sight so much blue in here but archangel michael is also a great one to work with with cord cutting so this is especially great if you have just cut um uh, let's just say had maybe like an argument with a partner or with a boss or however it is that whatever it was that's ending for you it'd be really important to cut cords with them because we're not doing that to cut the love we're you doing it to cut the extra tension and that build up of anger and frustration and any other like dust that might have settled on our cords and just leaving them light with love and that will also help with with tensions between it. So it could even be really hard for you to want there to be love in between this relationship, but I would recommend it just so that it's a smoother transition and less of a battle. So Archangel Michael works with that. I do have like a little animated video on how to cord cut, but essentially you just put the other person in a green bubble. You can put yourself in a green bubble and you picture a cord between you and you cut the cord. Archangel Michael cuts the cord at their side and it releases pretty much any anything that no longer serves that relationship, all the gunk and the dust and the frustrations and the tensions and the anger that got caught on that relationship. And then you cut it at your end and then you ask that cord goes away and doesn't come back. And then what you can do, or what I usually like to do, is just ask that the highest form of source love energy be put in the place of the old cord. And it should be very free, flowing looking it shouldn't look tense tight or anything like that all right the next card i have here is indigo the person you're inquiring about is an indigo meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader and it shows uh, i think it's a unicorn and they don't fit in and they don't fit in the back of the bike and how i actually see this is it really cements to me like we look at a unicorn and we're like, wow, that's pretty cool. If that actually was just being pulled by a bicycle by a kid, we are not upset that it doesn't fit in the bike super well. We think it's amazing that it's even there and it even exists. And I really just see how 
the other part of this is this is in the shadow <laughs> it's in the night so i think it goes to show me that all this was important to happen because you've been hiding this very beautiful gifted version of yourself it's been hiding in the shadows and this whole process although it might seem although it might seem without purpose right now and just hard the the overall end here is that th this this side of you is gonna come out and i mean i see leader <laughs> it says natural born leader but i just overall see very gifted whenever i see indigo very gifted whether it's spiritually whether it's just higher wisdom higher consciousness just has a deeper understanding of life and the essence of life itself and Honestly, the only way to really get this indigo out of the shadow and to get this part of you fully aligned and connected with yourself, I believe would be for this situation to have occurred. So next card we have here is you are powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual powers bring great blessings and loving service to the divine. All right, so just in case there was any uncertainty whether you were gifted, there you have it. <laughs> this is definitely a part of you, and this is the part of you that I believe your higher self had something to do with this here, your guides. Your guides, you know, don't choose the course of life for you. Your higher self had predetermined some things it wanted to experience or learn and I think this is one of those things that it wanted to learn where this had to happen to essentially get you to get to this higher love and wisdom state to see that shadow self to accept that shadow shelf and I honestly see like fully embracing it and being in balance fully in yourself. And that is what creates all this to really come forward in yourself. Because I think this is what's hiding in the shadow is a powerful light worker, is a highly sensitive natural born leader. Yeah, you got a great gift there, pile three. Super great gift. And it's time for it to come out. <laughs> That's the overall message here is it's time for it to come out and it can be scary and there is a lot of fears around that and there's also just a lot of hardship you've gone through. And that's all being recognized here but these two cards are coming out to really reiterate that it's so, it's just part of your journey to really make you who you are in the end of it all. Yeah, it's one of those tough moments where it's like, be proud of where you came from because if you had any other way, you wouldn't be exactly who you are and exactly who you are is who you're supposed to be. Is the you that brings healing and inspiration to the world. So it's not a, it's not a light thing. There's great healing for others and inspiration. I just keep getting the word inspiration. Because this story could break you, but I don't think it's going to. I think you overcome it. You might not know that yet, but that's what I see in your cards. <laughs> You're too strong to be held back by this hardship that you've been through. Okay, we have three more cards here on guidance from the angels. It's just from a different deck. So this one says, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. Oh, this is so great to see. So it's saying that, yes, if it was a job that you're fired from, if it was a relationship or a house that you were kicked out of, don't worry. The angels are saying right here, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So they, they have something going on the end. Don't give up. Keep being open and paying attention to opportunities because they're working with you. The angels are working to get you into a place that's in alignment with you. To the place that's going to make you... To the place that is right for you. 
The next card we have is you have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. So that's another little thing here. I think I'm going to have to let that one sit for a second as I feel like for this pile, I think this might not be literal children. For some, it will be children. But I think for some of you, it's actually helping the inner child of adults. So helping other people go through tough times like this, helping other people change their mindsets could be it. As you are essentially going, I just see like, I don't know if you're there yet, so it might be hard to hear this, but I just see that you're essentially going to overcome mindsets and you're going to show other people how to do it and how to not be afraid of their shadow and how to essentially be accountable and just really teach them what the whole purpose is of doing it all. Why do it all? Why even get caught up in stuff like that? And I can, I know this can may seem crazy because you're just starting this journey, but I feel like that is like the, the overall theme about why your soul wanted to experience all this is because they want to bring healing and inspiration and they want to lead others to a better path. And this card just further cements that. So that might be too far future for some of you to feel very excited about, but there is a point to it all. That is the main thing coming up here. There is a point. This didn't just happen for no reason. It was all written in the cards before you even came here. That's, that's how I should say that. Like I sometimes see things and I get that there was just a weird karma thing or that there was just like, um, this was like a low cycle because they're about to go into high cycle. But what I see this, this is like a greed soul lesson kind of stuff where your soul chose to go through these experiences, whether they were super hard, usually the harder the lesson, the more our soul wanted to grow. So that is a hard thing to hear, but it also means that your soul knew that it could handle it and that it wanted to achieve greatness in this lifetime. So it chose a hard lesson to overcome. So you've got this. I got to just keep reiterating that. I see that you've got this. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. Mm, so self-care. There is a lot of purple coming out in this deck. Okay, so I see a little purple here. I think this could be a message around there could be a bit of a block in the crown chakra and trusting that divine soul purpose energy. If That's not making sense. I think there could be a block in trusting the universe to bring in what you're needing and like I said after seeing that this is like you've gone through some hardships that there's some things here that you just don't understand why they happened there makes sense that there would be a bit of a block but here it's just really coming out that they want to see you starting to trust that inspiration that divine link that the universe is watching out for you it is helping you it can't unfortunately get in the way of soul lessons um, that you, you've already chosen to learn. I mean, you do always have free will so you can try to change things up, but there's some things I've noticed that our souls do just want to learn and then in, it always takes our future self to see why we had chosen that. And then the pink here, I th I'm seeing just as a reminder of self-care specifically making sure this pile is sleeping enough there's definitely something around sleep maybe you've been having a hard time actually getting sleep at night maybe you have a little bit of insomnia or something going on or you're working so much you have so much you're so busy right now that you're not sleeping but it's saying it's just really important that you prioritize that that they want to see you doing the best that you can and they i just keep getting that they are really here they're like, I know this seemed like we weren't watching your back, but this was a soul lesson. And now we're trying to get you in alignment to get you back on the things that are going to help you grow and help you learn and become the person you're, you're supposed to become. Because, yeah, lots of purple. <laughs> lots of purple. So you know what? Why don't we 
pull for more colored deck for you all and just see what guidance there is, what color you can wear or eat to help you through this time. I'm actually really curious what color is going to come up for you. Okay, so pile three. What is what is a color that pile three can wear? <laughs> we have jade. Take action. Number 32. I actually want two colors if I could. One more color for pile three. Orange. Nurture yourself. <laughs> That's really good. The green I'm glad did come up because that's always associated with healing and it could be healing any part of you, but it, it's good. It's what we were wanting to see come through because of just all this stuff that's gone down, all these hardships, you, are, you could use some healing to move forward. And then the nurturing yourself is so key as there's just even like, I'm noticing there's like pink roses everywhere too. Lots of self-love and self-care cards coming through for you. Definitely cementing that you're not being selfish by taking time for yourself, by, by sleeping when you need to sleep, <laughs> and doing fun things just for you. So with this Jade card coming up, it's really calling for you to get done whatever tasks you've been avoiding. And these are things that are tedious, that are daunting. And it says just let go of the excuses and take the action, get it done so it gets off your mind. The stress is not on you anymore. So just remind yourself, like you can do this. It's easy. The universe supports your goals and dreams and manifests them into your physical reality. Because I think there is also a need there for remembering that the universe is working with you. And I really like that this card even reiterates that. The universe supports your goals and dreams and helps them manifest to the physical reality. You got this. You can do whatever you need to do. Time to take action. Believe in yourself because everything here is saying, like, they are supporting you. This move will usher in positive new energy, a happy move to a new home or place. Like, there's just so much good energy surrounding you now. And I can see that it would be hard to see because of what's past the past has brought, but you've got this now they're here. Now it's time to take action. And they're really saying using Jade to help you do it. So if you actually have like Jade earrings or a Jade necklace or ring or something like that could be a good time to pull that out of the jewelry box and start wearing it to help you feel empowered to help you take action and remember that you're protected and safe that you can be self-sufficient and everything's gonna be okay okay and i also feel like the importance be behind getting this action out of the way is like I was starting to say is that it's really going to help take away the stress that you keep thinking or that, Oh, why haven't I done that? Oh, why haven't I done that energy? And it's just not helping you or the situation. So they're saying, just get it done, get it out of the way. Once you do it, you will be done. It will be over. You won't have to think about it again. So that's really good thing to do. <laughs> and then for the orange, this is really speaking to the part of you that, like it says, needs to be nurtured and supported by yourself and know that you are deserving and you are now willing to receive care, gentleness and kindness from others and from yourself. And this is going to help increase your confidence, your passion in life, your happiness. If you've been finding that you have been having a lot of tension, a lot of stress in your body, a lot of inflammation. You might even have a bit of depression right now. This is why orange would be coming in to really help you with that energy. And I think it would be so powerful that every time you saw the color orange, you just said to yourself, I am beautiful. I'm a divine being who deserves to be nurtured and supported. I am now willing to receive care, gentleness and kindness from others. 
and saying that every time you see orange, you might not understand why that's so important. But I think because I was saying there is a little bit of block. It, when you see block in self care, it can usually mean that we're we're protecting ourselves from getting hurt from others or from getting hurt again and not trusting others. And it's been a good defense previously, but everything here is saying it's safe to trust now. It's safe to accept things in. It's safe to receive from others. So that's why we want the orange. And how you might be having some physical issues with this file is it would be in your digestive system. It's like, um, I think if all of a sudden you suffer from like IBS or if you have like Crohn's flare ups, things like that, I, I would think from this card popping up that that could be things you're experiencing. Doesn't mean you have to be or you will, just if you have been already. The color orange is to help with that. Okay, we are gonna pull a couple of cards from a self-care deck and we're just asking what can you do right now to help yourself essentially okay what is some self-care for pile three what can pile three do right now for self-care i want this one so the quote says there comes a point when we have to say i'm here to love my life and to figure out who i am not who you think i should be and that quote is by sharon pearson And then it says, set your intention for the day. What can you do to be your authentic self? You know what? I actually want to read the journaling prompts from this book because I feel like this is something this pile has really been stuck on. Okay. I usually don't read these ones. Okay. So let's read together and see what does it say. So... For your internal self, your mental, emotional, and physical health, picture a garden in front of you, full of lovely, unique flowers. Each one is a small piece of you. Begin to identify the parts. This is my intelligence. This is my will. This is my vice. This is my voice. This is my ambition. Today, choose one flower, one part of yourself to pick from your garden and to carry around throughout your day. Place it somewhere on your body that will remind you of this lovely part of yourself. The external self-care, relational, community, creative, and work. What role have you attended to play in most of your intimate relationships? Do you like to initiate interactions or shared activities? Or are you more comfortable receiving bids for these things and deciding whether to participate? Do you tend to cheerlead or challenge your partners? How do you behave when conflict arises? Do you address it head on or try to circumvent discord by either ignoring or downplaying, downplaying your or your partner's experience? What areas of relationship are the most alluring to you? Where do you receive the most pleasure? Excitement, safety, or protection? Today, instead of finding the answer to all these questions, your task is to simply take stock of your roles and tendencies and see what keeps coming up. What might these points of repetition be telling you? Not about you in some generalized way, but about your deepest needs and desires. Hmm, so a lot of like self-reflection and awareness there. Yeah, I really like these. It's funny, I, I just realized today that there was even a guidebook to these cards. And I was like, huh, I kind of thought they were very clear, but I thought maybe the message in here would be a bit better. And I really like that it said about asking yourself, how can you be more your authentic self? Because this indigo card here essentially says exactly that. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. And I got that this card was in the shadow, that you were not fully being this person. And the thing that's so interesting here is it says a natural born leader. And I feel like 
just from what I've seen in the cards that a lot of people wouldn't ever have known that you were a leader or called you someone who has leadership qualities. So it goes to show that this part of you really needs to come out of the darkness, out of just your mind, out of your heart, and into your physical reality because it's something that's going to benefit others. You have a beautiful way of seeing the world and I think you're very compassionate. You're very gentle and you're very included, inclusive. So the way that that would come out in this world would be bringing more harmony making sure people are heard, which brings a lot more peace in the world. As you can probably imagine, people do not feel good when they are not heard. And that can create a lot of false stories in their heads about who they are, their value, what people think of them, what they think of others. So I feel like, although this might seem like a small thing to do, it's going to affect a lot of things in your life and even how you can influence others. Okay, I want to, for this pile, and this is for pile two, but I feel called to do it for you as well, is we're going to do just a bit of a standard chakra clearing, but then what we're going to do is we're going to use the jade energy, the green energy, to essentially clear out the chakras, the bodies, the old programs, that old energy, and then we're gonna replace it with this orange energy so that the green comes in to heal and release, and the orange comes in to stay, inspire, support, and help nurture yourself. And I would really encourage this pile if you could, like I said, maybe if you have a piece of jade, wear it, funny enough, I uh, didn't realize that I was wearing a piece of jade. <laughs> um, to wear that, or when you see essentially like an earthy green color, to think about that, to think about releasing old programs, old fears, old worries out of your body, out of the digestive system, out of the gut. I think that's where a lot of it is. Releasing that and replacing it with this green healing energy and then afterwards especially interesting since it was talking about flowers in this card actually was this card that was talking about flowers that this is also flowers so if you have a garden with flowers or maybe someone you know has a garden with flowers that you can see or look at or maybe you even have a calendar with flowers on it that's very specific but maybe when you look at it every time you see these these types of flowers you picture that warm energy coming into you and nurturing you and reminding you that you're safe and protected and loved and supported by others. It's really feel like a gentle energy to know that you are cared and loved for and to be gentle with yourself. So we're gonna just do that. Okay, so. We're at the point where if you want to accept this healing, you can go ahead and affirm or say yes in some way. You don't have to. It's just an extra here for you if you want. But actually, before we do this, we're going to just look at your energy just because it's fun to do. Let's see. So ideally, we would want to see this turning clockwise and in a decently large circle. That would be you in your best energy that you could be. If it's going the wrong direction, that means that there's something that needs to be cleared. If it's not moving, I would say that once again, there's something that needs to be cleared, but there just isn't a lot of harmony flowing between your energies. So we are, I don't know, we're just hoping it it's can be whatever it's gonna be and we're just gonna look at it after the clearing healing just so we can see if it's helping you out at all. So I guess it's an experiment. You can, if you have a pendulum, I would actually recommend you doing this for yourself right now too, and then doing it for yourself after the reading. Or sorry, after the clearing, saying the reading backwards. Okay, so please show me the energy of pile three right now. Please show me the energy of pile three right now. Okay. So if any of you can see this, it is going clockwise, so that's good. It is a pretty small circle. 
so it means that your energy could be better but like i said there's nothing that needs to be immediately cleared there's nothing that's really just stuck and meaning that you're not moving so that's actually pretty good obviously we always want a bigger circle but unless you're getting energy clearings regularly that's not bad so we will just try to make sure it's doing even better after this so we are now going to officially start the clearing we're going to all ground ourselves by doing four deep breaths or picturing roots going down from our feet all the way to Mother Earth. So let's breathe in air from above our head, down through our down through our noses, out through our mouths. I call upon and evoke to step forward the highest form of source energy, which is love. To step into this clearing and any guardian angels, the archangels, and any other guides, all in the energy of love and light for the highest good of pile three. To please step forward now and assist in this collective clearing. I ask that the collective is surrounded in peaceful, loving energy during this clearing and that I remain a neutral and biased channel for the highest form of love source energy on behalf of Pile 3 viewers today. I ask that your spiritual team applies this clearing for you, Pile 3, now or whenever you hear this that this be done by the highest vibrational divine energy. I ask that the guides working with Pile 3 now are aligned, upgraded, and able to support them through this clearing and afterwards on their journey. I ask that the guides that are by Pile 3 sides now are of the highest vibration, wisdom, and love to best bring in this clearing for them today. I ask that these guides channel in the wisdom and understanding of the universal truth the knowledge and remembrance of love and light into piles three's energetic and physical bodies so i ask that their guides now please bring in the healing releasing energy of green of the green jade color for them i ask that it goes from above down through their heads all the way down to their roots and that as it does this it is clearing any old programmings any negative energies limiting beliefs ancestral limiting beliefs or any ancestral negative programs that they be acknowledged released and removed from both their energetic bodies their auric fields and the physical bodies and that this all be replaced with that healing energy, that clearing energy of jade green. I ask that you take a special look at their guts, their intestines, and that you remove anything that is no longer serving their highest good and love and light that is there. Any worries, anxieties, any limiting beliefs, any self-doubts, any misjudgments about self any false beliefs and any beliefs from their ancestral lineage to also be removed from that area as well I ask that any programming ancestral peer or current lifetime around not being safe not being looked after by the universe not being loved by the divine to please be removed released now any fears around not being safe to please also be released and removed now 
and ask that this be done, and so it is. I ask now that the guides please channel in the color orange from down from above the crown chakra all the way through the whole body, through the third eye, the throat chakra, the ear chakras, the heart chakra, the solar plexus, the sacral, and the root. All the way down through the earth chakra. I ask that we channel in this highest form of orange energy and it be replacing the green energy now and bringing in nurture, gentleness, self-love, self-confidence, the knowing and a certainty in being able to trust and being provided for by the universe, by the divine, by self. I ask that this energy shift into every aspect of your physical body so that now all of your body vibrates with this color of orange this knowingness and remembrance and understanding that it is safe to receive love it is safe to receive gentleness kindness and generosity from the universe from others and from self I ask that every time they see orange flower or the color orange itself, that they remember that this is a message to nurture themselves, to accept kindness and generosity from others, from the universe or from the divine. I ask that every time they see the number 16, they also remember to nurture themselves, to accept self-love, generosity, kindness from others and themselves. I ask that this all be done now and so it is. I thank our guides and our angels for working with us today and helping us in this clearing and healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So as I was doing this clearing, I just noticed that there is the number 16 twice. This is so crazy because this has happened in all piles for different numbers. But you both, you have two 16s. So please, after this, look up the angelic meaning of the number 16. Or in numerology, there might be a 7 important. I feel like for this pile, yeah, 7. You might be in the life, the life cycle number seven, something like that. Maybe look into that, numerology number seven. Not life purpose, I don't believe. It's, I think it's literally the cycle of life you're in right now. And I could be wrong, but sevens, I think it resets at seven. So it would mean that all this hardship you're going through would be the end of a cycle and you'll be in one just around the corner, meaning that everything will change, you'll be on a new journey. So that's actually really exciting. I'm, I'm glad I just saw that. I would hate to have left this reading having not noticed that. So numerology, I can, I'm sorry, I can't quite remember the right word, but it's, I think it's life cycle seven, last cycle before everything restarts. And look up the, the angel number 16. Okay, but before you go, we're just gonna check your energy. Please, if you have a pendulum, also check it because it's just really cool to be able to use it. You can pause this video if you need to go find it. So please show me the energy of pile three after this clearing and healing. Please show me the energy of pile three. Okay, as you can see, that is so much better than it was before. So that is so great to see. And I just wanna just remind you all that you can do this for yourselves. In fact, this is actually why I wanted to do it is that I want you to know that you can just as easily as that ask your guides to channel in the healing energy of jade green into every part of your body and you're doing that to release it. And then you ask your guides or your angels to channel in the 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 
nurturing energy of orange. I would say nurturing because that does feel really good for this pile. Nurturing energy of orange. From, and you don't have to add all those other words, but just make sure you see that orange is ch changing the vibration that you're in. It's uplifting you. It's bringing in that passion, that nurturing, that gentleness, that open to receiving energy that you want to be having. So, like I said, it only took a few seconds if you saw that. So you could do it just like that <laughs> to help yourself out. Um, yeah, and then yeah, if you are open to it, I would really suggest going and looking at those two things, the numerology seven and angel number 16. Okay, this is where I'm gonna leave it for you all. I hope you have a really great day. I can see that you are headed down an amazing path. You are really, I know it can seem tricky right now, but I can just see that everything is working out. Everything's gonna come full circle and it's all gonna make sense soon. I mean, right now it just seems like a hunk of junk, but in, in the long run, this is gonna be the time in your life that inspires you, that you remembered that it was make or break and you made it, you went for it. So that's really cool to see as the reader, but I can imagine it's been very tricky for you all. So don't be discouraged, don't lose hope. It's, it's all coming in as it should. You are a light worker. You are supposed to be fully you and you're gonna help so many people. Okay, you guys will have a good, good, good day and I'll catch you around.